So if I answer this question, what legacy will I leave behind? I would love to leave for my children and all the people, uh, you know, in future generations, what it means to live according to the Quran and the way of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Quran is a treasure. The Quran is something that we all need to uncover and learn, and not only learn, but apply in our lives. It is not enough to know about something. We should pursue that thing and make it part of our existence. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us twice in the Quran, أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ أَمَّا عَلَىٰ قُلُوبٍ أَقْفَالُهَا Shouldn't they ponder and apply that which they ponder about the Quran and make it part of them? Or do they have locks on their hearts? So I say to the people, all the people, you know, if you do not have locks on your hearts, why not try to leave something for future generations that would make the purpose of our existence as human beings, as, as Muslims, so much more meaningful. I would like to call members of my family, my community, the Muslims, everybody, to come forward and give generously uh, on a monthly basis so that we will have the seed money for the endowment fund that will make this legacy well lit for future generations. That each one of us should be the spark that will start lighting that legacy. Do not wait for others to do it. Be yourself the spark and let the light come out. Because actually, you know, when we look at the ultimate and the absolute, we read in Surah An Nur, Allah Nuru Samawati Wal Art. Allah is the ultimate light of the heavens and the earth. We can only do something because we love Allah. We love what He represents for us, that light of the heavens and the earth. So we would like to be light too, relative to our ability. So let us be those sparks that will start something that will produce light for humanity.